This may look like an ordinary road and parking lot construction project at SUNY ESF, but it's not. It's being built with green infrastructure. Putting in a, uh, uh, a rain garden as, as part of, a, of the stormwater management strategy. We're putting in a, uh, uh, a storage tanks underground that will hold water uh, to minimize the, the impact of, of our stormwater runoff off the roofs of the buildings and off of the parking lot. Landscape architect Tim Tolan says they're also going to use porous paving on the parking area to help reduce the stormwater runoff reaching area waterways and overwhelming wastewater treatment systems. Across the country, in particular in the Northeast, at the time it was a good idea. Rather than having multiple pipes in the roadway, let's just combine them all into one. But as development has occurred over the last several decades, we have more impervious surfaces, faster runoff rates, uh, and the systems just aren't generally designed to accommodate these higher flows. And the result is untreated wastewater, or pollutants, getting into rivers and lakes. Green infrastructure is designed to minimize the runoff. Rain and melting snow will seep through the porous pavement and into the ground or be caught in the rain garden. Overflow will be trapped in the storage tanks and released slowly when the storm event is over. More expensive up front, but less expensive than a new water treatment plant. So you have to balance the cost issues when, when you're talking about green infrastructure. Yes, there, there's some additional costs directly related to them, but there's, there's other costs associated with the maintenance and management that, that are reduced because of them. The green infrastructure planning process um, requires a little bit more upfront due diligence in order to, to execute it properly, um, but the payoffs down the line should be increased.